I once had a friend who had been through so much and she had never really established a good relationship with herself or a feeling of self-worth. So she ended up in all sorts of situations that were very difficult and devastating. And at one point she ended up going into therapy and she used all the techniques of positive affirmations to train her brain to believe in herself and her self-worth and all of that. And um, as much as I appreciate that tool, I will never forget going into her room and she had a huge mirror up along the wall, leaning up against the wall, and it said, you are beautiful just the way you are. And I remember thinking about the contrast of where you have to be inside of yourself to need to put that on a mirror. Um, not that there's anything wrong with it, but I know that she used it to feel frustrated with herself. It was a reminder, but <clears throat> even that reminder made her feel like a failure because when she would see it, she would realize that she hadn't been loving herself and she hadn't been feeling beautiful as she was and she hadn't been doing those things, which would only cause more of that compounding feeling of failure. So the way that I watched that dynamic really changed in me um, a feeling of self-acceptance. Uh, if you don't feel beautiful the way that you are, that's okay. Um, I've been through an entire life where people look at me and think that I have it all or that I'm fit or attractive or whatever they think and and I haven't always felt that way and I very rarely ever felt that way in fact but it, it was not okay for me to feel that way it was not okay for me to feel unattractive to feel like my body was burying me it wasn't okay for me to complain about my weight or to complain about the way that I felt in my body and that's the part that makes it just compound on itself. That's the part that makes it all cave in. Um, it was okay to evaluate myself and want to be better. It was okay to not feel beautiful that day, to not feel like myself. It's a genuine disconnection from myself when I'm not healthy, when my brain isn't firing on all cylinders and I don't feel that life and that vibrancy or my body aches or it feels too heavy. Um, your self-worth doesn't come from those things that define you and telling yourself that you're beautiful, whether you feel beautiful or not, can actually just cause the opposite reaction that you're looking for. I once heard, and I've really held on to, uh, the concept that self-worth and self-esteem are built by accomplishing something that you honestly, genuinely did not believe you were capable of accomplishing. There was one experience recently where my husband had gotten in the car and driven in the neighborhood, and it's a scary, dark, mountainy neighborhood, very narrow roads and windy hills, and he had gotten himself kind of stuck. So he called me freaking out um, and wanting me to come get in another car and come find him. And I wanted to, and I wanted to come help him, um, but I was covered in raw chicken. I was trying to rush to make dinner, which is why he was the one going out. And I told him that I would come help him as soon as I could, but it would take me a few minutes. So we hung up the phone, and um, by the time I was able to call him back a few minutes later, he had gotten himself out of the ditch, and um, he had found his way to his destination. When he walked back in the door, he had the biggest grin on his face, and he was so relieved that he had done it, that he had figured it out. And that kind of thing is where self-esteem comes from. He genuinely called me feeling like he couldn't save himself. He couldn't get himself out of that ditch. It was too overwhelming to have gone out in the first place. Um, but I've, I've seen all sorts of people have that experience where they feel like it's something that they can't do. Um, but that's where the beauty lies when you actually do manage to do it. So you can start out on a new workout regime. You can start out changing your life. You can start out deciding that you're going to feel beautiful and you're going to do all these things, but you won't necessarily love yourself or feel right in the ways that you're thinking that you should until you start actually proving to yourself that you can do things that you set your mind to that you actually didn't believe that you could do. So there is a self-love in being okay with not being okay. Um, not feeling beautiful, not feeling right, picking up on symptoms and different cues from your body and your brain that, that this is not the way that life is supposed to feel. This is not the way I'm supposed to fit in my clothes. This is not the way that my workouts should go. This is not the person that I want to be. 
it's okay to be on the path where you are and it's okay to not want to be where you are and it's okay no matter what size you are to wish that you were a different size it's okay to have goals and to want to be something else as long as you know that you'll get there and the things that you think you can't do are exactly what you will do and you will enjoy doing them there's no limit to what you can do um, and it's okay to be where you are because you will get to where you want to go you just have to be okay with where you are first because if you are right here in the position that you're in and you don't fit in your clothes and you're not happy with your life and all you can think about is getting over there you're not going to actually be able to handle what's going on in your life right now to move past those things and evolve out of them so that you can just take steps that you need to take and every step you need to take has new obstacles and new things to focus on and the more that you do that and the more steps that you take the closer you'll get to whatever it is over there waiting for you so believe in yourself and in your process and believe that your process is beautiful even if you don't feel beautiful but don't tell yourself that you're supposed to feel beautiful if you don't don't tell yourself you're supposed to feel some sort of wild self-acceptance if you're not quite getting the feedback from yourself that you want and you ache for it's not just about beating yourself into submission and loving yourself because you have enough affirmations around be okay where you are and look around and see that you're just going to keep reaching and taking little steps from where you're at now because it's okay where you're at, but you're excited to take the next step to something better. That will get you where you want to go. Being upset that you don't already feel that and you don't already feel beautiful and you don't already feel like you're over there is only going to provide more roadblocks where you're at. So love yourself where you're at even if you don't feel beautiful, and even if you don't feel perfect, and even if you don't feel good, take it one step at a time. This is your step right now. Where you are right now is your step, and you've come a long way from where you've been, and you've gone up and down, and you've been through a lot, and you can change that trajectory, but you have to do it gently, and you have to be on your own team. So take care of yourself.